Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so in today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be going over some of the things that I do to grow my hair long and what I have been doing throughout my whole journey and what has worked for me. So, if this is your first time, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what you see. Um, I did a hair journey like video, but it was mostly pictures. It wasn't me really talking about what I was doing to get my hair to the length it is and what I'm still doing to continue to grow it out. So I wanted to kind of update you guys on uh, what I'm doing. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I have done to uh, achieve the length to grow my hair out longer is to stop using heat. Now, um, I have always stuck by this. I will leave a link to my top, I think it was six tips I did a few years ago about um, growing your hair and that was also in that video. If you want to see growth, you have to minimize the heat. Like, I can't stress that enough. Minimizing the heat will allow you to see the growth. Heat is very damaging to the hair, especially natural hair, because our cuticles um, don't allow our natural oils to travel through. So our hair is a lot drier than other races. So our hair is already dry, and then you're going to put heat on it with blow drying, with flat iron, with hot tools. It's just too much stress, which causes breakage, which causes you to not see length. So you guys, you have to stop the heat if you want to see growth. When I start, when <laughs> when I first started um, in my journey, I took it from twice a month to once a month, and then from once a month to every six months. Then every six months turned into twice a year, and then this year I've only flat ironed my hair once this year. Um, I do use heat as far as a curling wand, but that's very minimal. And I also stopped using heat during my blow drying process, so now I use cool air. I'll leave that right here if you guys want to see it, but I do use cool air. So if I do want to use heat, I'm only using it with one hot tool on a kind of you know medium setting and that's it I'm not really applying a lot of heat to my hair I used to flat iron my hair a lot on the beginning on my channel I never intended for this channel to be a natural hair channel but you guys loved seeing my hair so in turn you guys have helped me take care of my hair so if you've seen from when I first started till now you're like her hair has grown so much that's really because of you guys like I was natural but I loved flat ironing my hair so when you guys started requesting these natural styles I just stopped using a lot of the heat so you know I guess thank you for that too but yeah you guys you have to cut out the heat if you want to see the growth if you want your hair straight wear, wear a weave it's nothing wrong with wearing a wig you guys have seen me wear them on my channel and I definitely want to get back into that because I loved wearing the wigs but Wear a weave or do it twice a year or, or every six months, but try to, you know, keep that heat to a, a minimum if you can. The second thing I want to talk about is co-washing. That is your best friend. That is a naturals. That is a textured woman. I don't want to just say natural, but a textured woman's best friend because that allows your hair to really soak in that moisture. And um, if you guys are current on my channel, you know that I am now... Uh, co-washing my hair every day and I just want to give you a little update on that I'm sticking with it I love it this is um, one of the results I just uh, yesterday last night uh, co-washed my hair and then I just put it in two braids and then I just took it out and put this you know like this so um, I'm enjoying it one thing I can say so far that I noticed is my texture guys if you want your curls to pop you got to co-wash like the texture of my hair has become um, a lot more manageable. It's not really frizzy in certain areas that it normally is. It's very shiny. The water just soaks up into my hair. If you're like me and when you wet your hair in the shower and you really have to like work at your hair to get it to get wet. I, I don't know if you like understand what I'm trying to say but I know some girls can just stick their hair in the water and it's just like you know wet. Mine I have to kind of work with it but as I've been co-washing every day the water just absorbs into my hair so quickly and my curls are popping. It just looks more healthy and more moisturized. So I really advise you guys to co-wash um, at least once a week. If you can't do it every day or every three days, you don't have to be realistic with yourself. But at least try to do it once a week and you will definitely see a difference in your hair. 
as far as the texture and the length retention. Okay, so next I want to talk about moisturizing and sealing. So that is another way to moisturize your hair besides co-washing. Moisturizing and sealing, I like to do this with any style that I do, whether I do it in the LOC method or the LCO method. Normally when I do my washing goes, I like to do it in the LCO method. I like to use my leave-in, my styler, and then an oil to finish. Um, a couple videos you guys asked me like why I do that. Um, put the oil last in a few previous videos and that is why I like to moisturize and seal. I like to close my hair with a wash and go with oil. And also when I was um, rocking the wigs, you guys seen under my braids, not under my braids, <laughs> under my wigs were my braids and I would like to go in with an oil, braid my hair and then on the very ends, drench the oil, well not, well, who am I kidding, yes, drench that oil on my ends and then go ahead and pin it up and put my wig on and I would do that every night when I would take the wig off. Moisturizing and sealing is very important if you want to see growth. It allows your scalp, what is a scalp? <laughs> it allows your scalp to be stimulated. You go ahead and put the oil in your scalp, kind of moisturize it and massage it a little bit and then whatever style you're doing that will lock all of the products in your hair to keep your hair from being dry which Dry hair leads to breakage, and breakage leads to you not seeing growth. Your hair is always growing from your scalp, but if your hair is dry or damaged, it will break off and will keep you at a length where you are like, is my hair growing or is it still at the same spot from like two years ago? So that is why, because your hair is breaking off at the end, split ends and double strand knots and all of that stuff will cause your hair to break off at the end. So you want to keep your ends strong and that's why moisturizing and sealing is very important. <sighs> I feel like I'm talking real fast. Am I talking fast? Are y'all keeping up? The next thing is low manipulating style. So you don't want to really do too much to your hair. You don't want to be combing it and styling it all the time. You want to kind of style it and let it rock and then just, you know, keep with your routine. So um, even though I have been touching my hair every day, I haven't been um, really manipulating it a lot, if that makes sense. So I do wash it every day and I either put in twists or braids. I put it, I put it away and that's it. So I'm not really doing too much. There's a lot of things you can do. I have a lot of protective styles on my channel. I will leave them down below, which can last you for the whole week if you're not washing every day like myself. And, um, you know, you can leave your hair like that. It's a lot of flat twists, a lot of updos. Um, there's tons of videos on YouTube now where you can put in the faux, faux locks or the Senegalese twists or things like that. I think those are beautiful, especially with the like little hair accessories. So there's tons of things you can do, wigs, which I'm going to be going back to. And um, that will allow your hair to kind of do its thing, grow, make sure you're massaging it, and then you're, you're on your way. So definitely try to do a lot of low manipulating styles. That way you're not causing um, breakage or damage to your ends, which is going to allow you to retain that length that you're looking for. So the last thing that I want to leave you guys with is to be consistent in your routine. Um, there's a lot of, I say, uh, how many times did I say um in this video? <laughs> I'm going to try not to say um with this last tip, I promise. But there are a lot of beauty gurus on here, also like myself, who are showing you guys that we're doing this to our hair and that to our hair. You guys, you have to be consistent with what, with what works for you. So don't um, pressure yourself too much. Don't put something on yourself that you know you cannot achieve. If you cannot wash your hair every day, don't even try it. Like, be realistic and allow your routine to work for you and your lifestyle. So if you're going to wash your hair, uh-uh, babe. Hey, you snoring a little bit. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. If realistically washing your hair every week works for you, then go ahead and do that. You don't want to put too much pressure on yourself because you'll find that you haven't touched your hair in about two weeks. It's a matted mess and there. You're going to have to start back from square one because, of course, it's probably going to be some strand knots in there, some breakage, and some split ends. So you want to be consistent. Therefore, your hair has a chance to grow and grow successfully. You don't want to put too much pressure on yourself and you don't want to also slack off and not take care of it um, the
the way you need to. So evaluate your lifestyle, evaluate what your hair needs, and then take it from there. The products that your hair enjoys and stick with it. Try your best to stick with it. Um, it's not going to be perfect every week, but as long as you're trying, as long as you're putting in constant moisture, you're giving your scalp a massage, and you're also protecting your ends, you will see that growth. As much as you take care of it, that will show the results. If you want results fast, you have to be on it. If you want long hair, I'm, you have to be on it. You have to take care of it. Um, but take care of it in a way that works for you. Um, take a little bit... I done messed up. I already said... Um. <laughs> Take a little bit from your favorite, you know, YouTubers and take a little bit from what they're saying and then sit down and really evaluate and find out a routine that you can stick to so that your hair can grow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope these tips helped you. Uh, let us know down below what you do to achieve long hair, healthy hair. And yeah, we would love to hear um, your ideas. So the giveaway winners are in the description box. So make sure you check that out to see if you won the giveaway. So then and once you find out you won, contact me, direct message on um, Instagram, and then I will get your information and send your prize out to you. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.